Hello friends, I am Sumit Mehta from Eguru Learning and today in this lecture we will see exercise 3.2 of matrix and in this lecture we will see from question number 19 through 22. In earlier videos we have solved till question number 18. Okay, so now let's read question number 19. So in question 19 we have given a trust fund has rupees 30,000 that must be invested in two different type of bonds. The first bond pays 5% interest per year and the second bond pays 7% interest per year. Using matrix multiplication, determine how to divide rupees 30,000 among the two type of bonds if the trust fund must obtain an annual interest of first part is rupees 1800. So do we know a formula for simple interest is P into R into T by 100 and we have already given here an annual interest means time period is one year so this is p into r by 100 okay so now let assume let the amount invested in bond type 1 yet yeah, first type bond type a malet that is rupees x so the amount invested in bond type b or the second bond will be 30000 minus x okay so now we need to use the matrix multiplication to find out the total interest to be 1800 okay so what we need to do is so this is x and 30,000 minus x. So this is a row matrix and on the first bond we are getting an interest of 5% per year. So this is 5 by 100 and on the second inter bond we are getting an interest of 7. So this is 7 by 100 and the total amount or the total interest that we are getting is rupees 1800. Okay. So this is on matrix multiplication we will get is 5x by 100 plus 7 into 30,000 minus x by 100 is equals to 1800. This implies 5x plus 2,10,000 minus 7x. I have this is 1800. Okay, so this is 2,10,000 minus 2x equals 1,80,000. So this is 30,000 equal to x. 1,80,000 with the subtract. So x is coming out to be 15,000. So we should invest 15,000 in board 1 and the rest is 30,000 minus 15,000 again that should be also invested in bond type B. So with this our part A is completed. Now let's quickly see part B. So in part B the same is the case. The total amount invested in B let type A is rupees X and let the amount invested in bond type B is will be rupees 30,000 minus X. So now the difference only here is the total interest that we are getting now is 2000 rupees. So this is x and 30,000 minus x. The first interest is 5% and the 7 by 100 is the second interest. This equals rupees 2000. So now the equation would become 5x by 100 plus 30,000 minus x into 7 by 100 is equals 2000 rupees which implies 5x plus 30,000 minus 7x 7 into 30,000 here upon 100 is equals to 2000 rupees okay so this is 2 lakh 
10,000 minus 2x equals 2 lakh rupees. So 2x equals 10,000. So x is coming out to be 5,000 rupees. So in bond type A, we need to invest rupees 5,000 and in bond type B, we need to invest rupees 25,000. Okay, students. Now let's move to question number 20th. So students, here is question number 20th on our screen which states the bookshop of a particular school has 10 dozen chemistry books. Okay, so we have 10 dozen of chemistry books, 8 dozen physics and 10 dozen economics. Their selling price are, chemistry are selling price are rupees 80, this is rupees 60 and this is rupees 40 respectively. Find the total amount the bookshop will receive from selling the all the books using matrix algebra. So with the help of matrix we need to find out the total amount that the bookshop will get. Okay. So what we need to do is chemistry books will write here chemistry book are 10 dozen 10 dozen similarly physics books are 8 dozen economics is again 10 dozen or is per book price ka rupees 80 is ka hai rupees 60 and here it is rupees 40 so what we need to do is this is per book price not the per dozen price okay keep that in mind so we'll take out the 12 of the dozen outside and these are the 10 books in 10 dozen books in chemistry so this is 120 8 dozen books in physics so this is 96 books 10 dozen books again in economics so this is again 120 books this is 80 60 and 40 okay so this is 12 10 into 80 plus 8 into 60 plus 10 into 40 so this is 12 into 800 plus 480 rupees and this is again 400. So this is 12 into 1680. So this is 16,800 plus 3360. 6010. So the total amount that the bookshop will receive is to 20,160 rupees. Okay. Now let's see question number 21. So students, here are question number 21 and 22 on our screen. Okay. So in question number 21, we are given the order of each of matrix X, Y, Z, W and P. So what is the order of matrix X is 2 into N. Matrix Y ka order hai that is 3 into K. Z ka order hai that is 2 into P. And W order is N cross 3. And last P matrix order is P. P cross K. So we know one thing for multiplication of two matrix like suppose if I multiply two matrix A and B first assume that the matrix A ka order hai M cross N and this order hai P cross K. So for multiplication to be executed these two values should be same means N should equals P ye hona and the resultant matrix jo hume milega let's suppose c milta hai that is of order m cross k okay that i have already told in this previous videos okay so now what we need to find out is 
पी वाई प्लस डब्ल्यू वाई सो वट शुड बी द रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन दीज वैल्यूज एन के पी एंड के ओके सो पी वाई वट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ पी इज पी क्रॉस के ओके एंड वट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ वाई दिस इज थ्री क्रॉस के सो फॉर मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड these both the things k and 3 value should be same so k should equals to 3 and the resultant matrix order will be p by k order kitna ho gaya that is p cross k okay so first condition that we are getting is k should equal 3 and the resultant matrix of uh, order of the matrix p y is p cross k now let's talk about w y W का ऑर्डर कितना है एन क्रॉस थ्री एंड Y का ऑर्डर क्या है थ्री क्रॉस के सो एज वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग हेयर यहाँ पे हमारे पास ऑलरेडी क्या है ये जो दो टर्म्स हैं इनका वैल्यूज इक्वल है सो so, W Y का जो रिजल्टेंट ऑर्डर आएगा दैट विल बी एन क्रॉस के सो फॉर मैट्रिक्स एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड वी नीड टू एड पी वाई प्लस डब्ल्यू वाई डब्ल्यू वाई का ऑर्डर है एन क्रॉस के ये मैट्रिक्स तभी एड होंगे जब इन दोनों मैट्रिक्स का जो ऑर्डर सेम होगा सो पी क्रॉस के शुड इक्वल एन क्रॉस के दैट मीन्स पी शुड इक्वल एन सो द टू कंडीशन दैट वी आर गेटिंग हेयर इज पी शुड इक्वल एन एंड के शुड इक्वल थ्री so the option number a is correct for the question number 21 now let's talk about question number 22 so in question number 22 we are already given if n equals to p then the order of this matrix order of matrix 7 into x minus 5 into z what is the order of x x ka order hame pata hai already 2 cross n hai and z ka order jo hai that is 2 cross p hai so for matrix addition and multiplication to take place the both the orders should be same so that means if n is equals to p we are given n or p jo equal hai that means 2 into n is equals to 2 into p hona bhi chahiye because otherwise we can't add or subtract the two matrices so what should be the order of this matrix order of this matrix will be either 2 cross n or 2 cross p yes so the only option we have is 2 cross n there is no such option for 2 cross p because 2 cross p is also equals to n so we can directly write it down the matrix uh, order will be 2 cross n so with this student we have completed exercise 3.2 and in next lecture we'll see exercise 3.3 okay and if you like my videos kindly don't do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button there thank you students happy learning